Atas is a powerful platform for all default trading and in this video I will share with you my template, what indicators I use, why I use and settings to them. Step number one, it is of course a chart type. What's beauty in Atas, you can use different uh, type of charts. Uh, you can use uh, basically candles as most of the people on many other platforms. Also you can use bars, but the, the most beautiful one, it is a cluster. Why I like uh, a cluster chart? Because uh, it can show to you where exactly biggest volume traded. Even example for you on this stone coin you can see how price started rising and here biggest volume started to appear into high and uh, it was a clear signal of absorption and based uh, on this uh, chart you can set up easily relative volume and can see where biggest volume traded and especially after significant rise when you see big volume and price stop to rise it's a good signal for potential reversal and after that as you can see it is for our chart this biggest vo high volume node become one of the best resistance from which price dropped heavily from 7.35 to 6. Or another uh, example on the tone coin, uh, when aggressive seller appeared, you can see a significant delta rise of open interest and you can see how this massive volume became really beautiful uh, resistance after that. And I remember when I here took beautiful short on this coin because I saw that this cell is really powerful. That's why to set up it properly, what do you need to do? First one, always choose proper scale on a chart because uh, if you won't use a proper scale, for example, your scale would be too slow, too small. For example, like on BTC, I use approximately 100, 200. If you will use small scale, you can see even at this moment, we uh, put one scale and uh, it's not a beautiful uh, on a chart. Uh, that's why here what I do, come back with 250 and voila, at this moment, clearly you can see where biggest volume traded honestly you can use uh, from 100 to 250 on btc that's the perfect solutions uh, that i recommend you to do like 200 would be even better after that when you go into settings you open settings and you open this one cluster settings uh, visual settings about how to do chart uh, uh, we won't cover today because uh, they're not uh, a topic you can see uh, it is a color scheme heat map heat map by volume also you can see you can set up delta solid volume proportion trade proportion bid ask proportion but uh, i use heat map by volume and here you can choose a setup of a heat map you can see at this moment i chose the second one because it shows to me uh, like from from my eyes it's really easier to understand it here you can use uh, draw borders don't recommend you to use it as the next important part a mode uh, many people confuse here why because sometimes people uh, use uh, for example a bar mode and uh, you can see uh, it uh, compare volume only in the middle of a bar that's not good visible range whole chart what's the difference between visible range and whole chart for example at this moment we uh, load approximately like 90 days of data let's load it all, all this data uh, this stuff means that uh, each candle compare volumes that were traded in the middle of here and i personally do not recommend you to use this stuff why because sometimes big volume can be driven by some news and uh, uh, in most cases you won't see that volume in normal cases that's why i always recommend people to use a visible range okay good congrats uh, at this moment you have beautiful clusters Additionally to clusters, uh, you can add a cluster search indicator. What this stuff can do for you, it can search where exactly in particular cluster big volume appeared. For example, let's set up at this moment like 100, 100 BTC. Let's add it. You must add it. And it shows to you where 100 BTC were traded. Let's do 1000. But uh, let's assume 2000. Okay, good. Example for you, 2 thousand what uh, the tool did to us when two thousand contracts trade in the middle of a cluster you can see we can get notification why is this stuff also interesting because uh, sometimes such clusters can be a reversal ones and you can see where biggest trades also on this clusters what you can do additionally you can add the uh, price ranges and bar ranges for example clusters as you can see it is exactly that one place where volume traded at particular candle but also you can add price ranges for example it would calculate several clusters together because sometimes big volume traded not in one clusters but like in several ones let's add for example here 5000 btc at this moment you can see area where biggest volume traded also you can add a price ranges it means example for you like at this moment you can see that in this area 
biggest volume trade it here biggest volume here honestly i personally don't use this stuff because uh, uh, this stuff uh, i use other indicators as a major one that for me far more important to make trading decisions but for you if you would like you can do it also additionally you can use alerts uh, you can add alert into uh, your telegram example for you most of these indicators that you can see on atas you can add into atas alerts and you can receive uh, free alerts uh, into your bot like at this moment 523 you can see oe changed on ethereum and we can go to ethereum close it let's go to ethereum and at this moment we can see that's somehow open interest started to change on ethereum and we can analyze what's going on to hide uh, cluster chart you can open this menu here you can hide it or you even can delete it my friend at us platform it is only a first step for your success in a trading you need to know how to use it that's why i will share with you my trading strategies that i use with this platform and atas templates that i saved for you you can download it link would be in description get it right now the next indicator that i use the most important for me it is a volume indicator honestly uh, you can use two type of volume indicator come here open this menu by opening this menu you can see uh, you can write down here volume here you have volume and volume on a chart what's the difference volume on a chart and volume uh, only a difference that uh, it create a separate section or it would be with a chart honestly to save uh, my place uh, i use uh, volume on a chart but maybe you will use different one choose which better for you after that what i do uh, with volume uh, i set alerts why uh, because uh, for my trading strategy volume it is one of the most important things that i use an example like on the solana i have alert when 700,000 coins traded i will receive a notification i receive that notification into my telegram boat like at this uh, moment tone candle volume 900,000 or ethereum open interest change how i choose uh, what volume exactly i would like to use it's really simple here you set filter use filter and uh, by this filter i analyze where biggest volume spike appeared and for me the most important this really huge volume spike because only such volume spikes will create some significant movement uh, that i predictably can trade you can see even this one significant volume spike what price did reversed even here have a look big volume spike what price did stopped big volume spike price did reversed big volume spike local pullbacks to find that indicator here this menu you will find it volume on a chart maybe in the future they will change it place because sometimes at us do updates also how you can find a list of your indicators any indicator you have this menu press uh, this menu and here would be your indicators that you can use the next one uh, it is delta it is exactly this one beautiful one delta you can search delta and find it exactly here this one uh, why i use delta but not a cumulative delta honestly because they show nearly the same information you can add cumulative delta and what uh, the difference uh, between delta and cumulative would be only that the cumulative delta adds together that's it but after many uh, year, many months and years by using this platform honestly for me way easier to use delta additional reason because on delta i can set alert with like this one i have used alert we have alert for rise and alert for down and also again i connect it to my board and when uh, everything is good i receive notification when significant delta appears in what cases i use delta i use delta only at key areas this stuff i use only manually because uh, key area you cannot build an indicator and when i see like this example important area price reach this area big drop uh, in over open interest and delta 5.2 thousand for me it's clearly that someone here got liquidated and based for my trading strategy i can take a trade or here significant rise of open interest into cascade levels for me it's also a signal to take a trade into liquidations once more to learn about my strategy link will be in description download that pdf the next one it is open interest open interest also beautiful indicator because it shows to you where people take trades and close the trades uh, open interest uh, give me uh, next important information first potential breakout because we've been we have really good structure it shows to you that someone tried to push price out second it is a trap because uh, sometimes it's obvious that someone get trapped and you can go to take their stop losses and a third one liquidations after liquidations often price make a reversal even this example for you a trading plan that i shared with our community about dogecoin quite significant open interest it, uh, this one it's open interest indicator enter into a high and after price started slowly dropping build
build a POC and started squeezing down. And after that, Dogecoin dropped uh, nearly 15% because for me, it was a clear signal that Dogecoin get trapped. Example for you, how trap looks like, uh, like at this moment, Toncoin. We have significant rise in open interest exactly into a high, but price failed to continue rising. In most cases, I think price would go down until all of these guys uh, that trapped at high got liquidated. Same here, I use uh, also alerts. At this moment, you can copy my alerts. But remember, when you copy my alerts, they work for a specific time frame because when you use bigger time frame, bigger change in open interest can appear. I like to use them on 15 minutes and 30 minutes time frame. And also additional two important indicators that they use, especially in a range market. It is a volume profile. Uh, there are two types of volume profiles that I use. First one, uh, it is this one on the left. Here it would call market profile or TPO or fixed market profile or TPO. At this moment on the left, you can see this one market profile or TPO, how it looks, how it creates. Let me delete. At this moment, you can see this stuff appeared. And here I can choose where this volume profile can start building. Why is this stuff matter? Because again, according to my trading strategy, volume profile is a powerful tool. Even example for you, yesterday I gave a signal on Ethereum to take long after price rose uh, more than 6%. Have a look. My entry were at 3,389 with stop loss nearly uh, 2%. What was the major reason? Because price reach below value area low and quite significant liquidation appear uh, there. And we retested this. A significant candle. According to my strategy, it is one of the best places to take a trade. That's why I love to use this volume profile. About settings, if you would like to repeat my settings uh, here, uh, I would just scroll settings and you can copy uh, exactly what you can see here. You can copy all my settings. Good, I hope you saved it. Also, uh, you can see that I added uh, to this indicator a hot key M. I chose all of these hot keys. This part it is a hot keys. I chose them manually because for me it's easier. I uh, learned that uh, hot key and I don't need to open this menu. I simply press M and this uh, stuff opens. You can see I pressed M, M, M. About hot keys, you can set up your hot keys here. Settings keys and here would be charting and you can scroll down and you can see this one m i added here you can edit any for example anchored market profile you can add numbers or you can add uh, several numbers depends what you like about uh, hot keys i will record a separate uh, tutorial and same stuff with this market profile plus tpo only a difference that you choose manually where you build it for example, you can choose a clear area where you would like to build it. Like example, uh, you analyze at this moment this range and you would like to see where biggest volume traded. And what do you do? You just build this market profile plus TPO. And here again, let me open uh, settings that you can copy all settings that I added. I scroll down slowly. That's why you can press a pause and copy all these settings. Congrats, you have same settings. And also another really powerful, especially uh, for a trend market indicator, VWAP. If you don't know what's VWAP, here would be a full lesson tutorial uh, to watch VWAP. VWAP, really powerful trending indicator because it shows to you a fair value where biggest volume traded. And I love to use it for a trend market, especially. Here, again, how to build the VWAP, I use personally anchored VWAP. As you know, we have time best VWAP daily, weekly or session. I don't use them, not because I don't like them, because I don't know how to use them. I like uh, way more anchored VWAP. And again, as you can see, I added this hot key and here are my settings. When you have some swing low, swing high, for example, like this one, VWAP can show to you really good areas where it's potentially good to take entry for continue. And this line, it is second deviation, first deviation, third deviation. As you can see here, it was exactly a local bottom. Again, retested VWAP, again, second deviation. It can show to you really good areas where you can take trade, especially on a trend market. I know this indicator looks together complicated, but uh, to understand understand how to use them better to see a real example. And here I prepared for you uh, my real trade on BTC where I took it made more than 560 USD only within a few hours. Watch that lesson to understand how I use all these tools together. Have a good time.